Today is the day after the YouTube call out. Very rare for me to get two days off in a row, but it happened. Uh, I had a blast at the YouTube call out. If you guys didn't buy any Calmero t-shirts, um, I got them here. You can get them online in the link below at my little website there. So yeah, but as you can see, Pennsylvania is back in full swing. It is raining. Let's jog over here to the truck. Car is still on the back. I messed up. Uh, the parachute is just getting gross and wet. And uh, it's in the trunk, but the actual chute pack itself that it is encased in is was out in the rain last night. But RIP, you'll dry out. What we're doing now is we're heading out to Coker Chassis and we're gonna start the teardown of the car. The car, yeah, we're going to cut the car apart and get ready to modify the front half of the roll cage in the Calmero. Let's get going. Now, we are back here at Coker. Bob, be in a jungle gym in there? We're in the jungle gym. Are you finishing up the welds in here? Yep, this is how you finish up the welds. <laughs> The car was smoking the last pass it made. And we don't know why, so I'm like, let me check the coolant. There is no coolant in this car. I have no idea what it could have been that was smoking. So now we're just gonna dump water in here. I'm hoping it takes just a little bit and then it's full. Is this bad? It depends on how much it's missing. Should we pull it in now and get out of the rain? Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm talking here with Bob. The lens is a little foggy here from the rain, but we're, he, we're talking about what we're going to cut out. So we're gonna cut out this, um, the halo, this A pillar here, and now the door bar. You know, I sit in it. See, I think we could bring this, this door bar needs to be between your elbow and shoulder. So I think we can lower this a little bit, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Help you get in. Mm -hmm. And then we'll put an X small one up to here. Okay. Just Does so it go from here to the back? It's going to X here and then from here back to back okay. there. And it's just going to stop everything from wanting okay. to fold this And way. then are you going to X the roof? Yes, the roof will be X. That's, okay. That's pretty important because if you were to roll over or something, the way it's built right now, there's mm -hmm. nothing holding it. From yeah. just kind of dropping down. Your, your best strength is in triangulation. Okay. You know, if it's a triangle, it's strong. So, there's and then also we're going to take out the, right now it's not tied in with a dash bar. Right. So are we going to cut out the factory yes, heavy we're dash gonna, bar? We're going to take the heavy dash bar that's in this out. <laughs> okay. And we're going to put a regular race dash bar underneath the dash, which will be a lot safer then because it'll be tied. So pretty much then everything or, everything that I'm like sitting in yes, is going to be. Yes, you'll be encaged in a nice. Okay. And this is this is the difference between how this is and what you would do is is when someone says universal versus custom. Right, right. You know, one-off made for your car. Yep. And uh, and this is not uh, the the cage was just installed by my shop RPM Motorsports and the install on it's, it's oh it's a real nice job it's just it's just the bars that we were given it's not were, a custom fit cage yeah so you know we're our shop RPM Motorsports we're not a chassis shop they went out of their way to do the cage you heard me say that before um, and they did a good job putting it in but as we go faster obviously we want to be a little bit safer and the goal is to keep going faster so right, right. from here I'd be pretty limited if I wanted to you know let's say make it a 750 right. cage or the something. The biggest thing is this cage isn't built for John. That's right and we want a, a cage built for John. Hey Iggy when's the last time you took the dash out of a fifth gen? What's <laughs> are you are you leaning heavily on my information to get it out? No. Or uh or your information? No I'll call it try. <laughs> So, all right, so as you can see, we're, we're just getting started here, getting all the junk out of the car. These don't get noticed enough. I got these from, how do you say it, Tim McCamus? Tim Mc McMahama? Tim McMahama. Tim McMahama. These are real carbon fiber um, tube protectors, and these, these cost a pretty penny. I, I paid, you know, 
a lot of money for these, and um, I like them. I think these really bring the, make the cage go to a whole nother level. It makes it look so much cleaner. Because look at it now. It's just kind of boring, blah. And the paint, it does uh, scratch a little bit. So um, having those on there really help make it look good. I do need to repack the parachute. But uh, as of right now, we're just going to get the seats out for a start. And then we're going to dive into the center console and then the dash which i'm like I'm a, I'm a little nervous right now i'm not gonna lie a little nervous what 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 is that for this is step five what's that Sozo. for what cut everything out dude stop put that don't bring that near my car that bet that best be for your steak yeah it is <laughs> oh wait wrong size is this the wrong is this the wrong size oh hold on no, it's a little too small still. <laughs> All right, I'm eating my dinner right now. Crazy dinner. We, we got steaks and vegetables here at the shop. Guys, we're working late. They're working late. I just got here, but we're eating. It's pretty funny. I got to show you guys this. What are you watching with dinner there, Bob? <laughs> Bob's watching my video. Aggie's over here watching the video. It's, it's too, too funny here. <laughs> Alright, so dinner has been had. Bob is back here welding on Lee's car. Getting this thing ready. Going into paint soon? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, going into paint. Bob so, has to work late. Bob is working late, getting the, it's like eight o'clock right now. So Bob is over here plugging away on that. And we're over here on the car. I'll show you where we're at right now. Where we're at, everything's out. These bars are gonna be getting cut out. Iggy is just it, chomping at the bit to sawzall them off. Dying the file, cut, weld, cut out, start over. <laughs> <laughs> Bob's like, <laughs> Bob's like, don't do it. So uh, I'm getting yelled at not to touch anything. <laughs> next coming out is going to be the uh, steering, wheel. steering wheel is going to come oh, out. Gosh. So here we are. We have the steering wheel out. We got the radio out. All right, quick update here before the camera dies. The dash is out, and now we're left with this ugly mess. Bob, what do you got in mind? First, first glance. Gotta go. <laughs> A lot of junk in here. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. A lot of useless. So we're gonna change the angle of this, like you were saying, right? Right, we're gonna run our dash bar pretty much where this factory dash bar is, except it'll be tied to our roll cage now, which will be safer, a lot stronger. Um, and get, as, get, get rid of as much junk as possible, right? Correct, correct. There's a lot of just stuff in there that don't need to be in there. Slowing you down. Slowing you down. If you wanna go faster, get rid of the weight. <laughs> Well, um, I'm sure this is gonna change quite a bit, but we did get the dash out. Big thanks to uh, Iggy Pop Nation here. On, uh, on isn't that your Instagram name now? Yeah, actually it is. Oh, so we'll get Iggy Pop Nation. Shameless plug. So big thanks to Iggy for uh, staying late and getting this dash out. Well, I want to thank you guys for watching. Like always, comment, like, subscribe. Check out everyone here. Uh, we got RPM Motorsports for making me go fast. Coker chassis for uh, revamping the cage. Race Clip for keeping me safe, and McCarthy Tire for keeping the wheels turning. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Like always, comment, like, subscribe, and we'll see you ne next time. Later. That's it? You're not going to say your line? Yeah, maybe dump them out. <laughs>